Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Blog Daz. I'm Gaina. Okay, we are the two of us. Yep. Aiden's busy editing. If you've not seen it yet, head over to uh, Office Blog Daz Sports Edition channel. Check out the video on there where I am playing Aiden at uh, College Football 25 on the PS5. And if you want to see how a non-gamer plays games, <laughs> <laughs> might entertain you. Yeah. Right? But you never know. You never know the outcome. No. You never know who might win. Mm. Anyway, um, a bit of a, a bit more real estate. Yes. I love watching these real estate. I ones. do. Gives me good ideas for what we want. What we want to retire to. Number one, and some of these houses on here definitely not. No we're retirement retire homes. Our, no, uh, no. Well, out of our league anyway. Um, but this is inside a luxury retreat where rustic charm meets modern elegance. I think It'll, if I could live in any house now, it would be like a luxury log cabin. Hmm. I kind of, I'm kind of coming to your way of thinking a little bit. Yeah. Uh, people at the moment have gone on nuts and they're doing me editing. Yeah. So I think it's best that, that little retreat we did in Scotland where yeah. we're in the middle of nowhere. I was kind Perfect. of like, I'm on my own here. Yeah. You know? But uh, let's see what this is. This is a place called Whitefish, Montana. So uh, homes by, is that BM Build Magazine? Homes of Build Magazine. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Look at that scenery. I know, it's gorgeous. enough now <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fan of windows in the shower uh, I know that nobody can see you but I'm still a bit paranoid yeah I get what you mean um, but I mean some of these some of these windows in the shower they have like them switches now you can switch them to like yeah, uh, so opaque type frost thing or whatever thing, frost, yeah. frosted glass yeah, yeah. but uh, this this looks right on oh, my street gorgeous. this is stunning this yeah. Welcome to another episode of Homes of Build Magazine. I'm Ted Bambers, president of Build Magazine. I'm here in Whitefish, Montana with Patty Singer of Engel Volker's Whitefish and with the builder, <coughs> Connor Watson of Northern Heritage Builders. This house is spectacular. Not only the beams that you'll see, the views that you'll see, but there's a couple of special features with chandeliers that you're not gonna see anywhere else. So let's go inside and take a look. Just that entrance, they've, they've, they've just they've not done the entrance there, and that entrance looks absolutely stunning. Yeah. You know, he, he just sort of like I guess he might he might go back to it, but he's kind of bypassed it a little bit. Um, but if you look at like, see if you can pause it. Right special there. features with chandeliers that you're not going to see anywhere else. So let's go inside. There, them tree, them tree logs there yeah. coming down as pillars. That looks absolutely it's, beautiful. But even like the stamped concrete, that yeah. looks really. I don't know, is it stamped or is it, I, might, I think they're paving stones, gay. You do. I don't think they're not stamped concrete. Mm, I, don't I think know. they're actually paving stones. There's too mm. many of them like different shapes. Mm, I think that's crazy paving, as they call it. Yeah, but that's that them little pillars there, them little concrete uh, brick pillars. Yeah. And then all stone, and then with the with the tree the trunk there, that looks brilliant. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Take a look. Wow, what an amazing home. Yeah. This kitchen yes. is stunning. It's so custom. Tell me about this. Yes. Yeah, so this. All these cabinetry, the, all, the whole package and the whole, whole house was done by Matt Pageum, Pageum Cabinetry out of Whitefish. Him from start to finish with his computer software, building all the renderings out for the homeowners, it just made it so easy to work with those guys and get it done. Love the it. installation yeah. was amazing, it was flawless. These guys came in, they knew exactly what they were doing, they knew exactly where everything was going and they carried it right out to the end with the homeowners they didn't leave any detail behind and it was just a very easy subcontractor to work with on the job for a very difficult subcontractor line item to get through the job with they were amazing to i work imagine with. it's, yeah, it's it quite great. spectacular yes now of course i cannot ignore this gorgeous backsplash and yes. this stone so the stone was provided by stone. natural stone out of kalispell these guys you know, they had all the slab selection that we... I thought it was marble. You can't have marble on a backsplash though, can Why? you? Because it'll burn. Marble doesn't burn. Marble's like... It does. does it? Yeah. I thought marble was like... Uh... If you, if you um, put a match on marble, it'd burn. I, I think know. so anyway. I'm not sure it's flammable. I didn't think it was flammable. I think it was like a stone, almost. But you, but you don't make scorch marks. I don't know. I don't I know what thought so. We needed and they carried out the process of mitering the corners on this island 
all the way to keeping the color veins through all the stone. They just did a great job for us. This that is a, a verde butterfly granite with a live edge on it. And these like guys have the all the products, all the materials, and they did a great job installing it to match up with Matt's cabinets. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. This island is incredible. But of course, I cannot ignore what's hanging from the ceiling. Okay, so these chandeliers were done by Jason Lawson of Lawson Glass. <laughs> these are all handcrafted glass and brass tines. And these guys were great from when we started talking to them right to the end. They themselves came up and installed it themselves. I'm not gonna lie, it's not my cup of tea. No, it looks but like like deer horns, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, but it looks great, great in, in there. there yeah. yeah, and I don't think you could get anything better than that in there. No, you couldn't put like a, a traditional no, chandelier no, in it. No, it, no, it looks, place. it goes perfect. Like I said, not my cup of tea. Yeah. I'd probably look for something else, but yeah. if I seen them up like I'd be going, no, no, leave it. Yeah. Leave it, it looks great. Yeah, it fits in with yeah, the Yeah, it does. Uh, and integrated it with our winches that we set up to power them up and bring them right up into the ceiling so you could lower them down and clean them when you need to. Oh, okay. So those guys were a great outfit to work with. They were fantastic. So this is molded glass, not blown. Correct, yes. And in the process, the average is they lose two out of six in the curing process. So it's super difficult, the heating up the glass, takes them all day, two guys, to make six of those wow. antlers. And they, wow. on average, lose two of them in the curing process. It's wow. pretty pretty crazy, pretty labor intensive. Very spectacular. I've yes. never seen anything mm. like it before. Yeah, they're wow. beautiful. Great taste. Yep. Yeah, I don't think they're 12 99 from Bed no. Bath & Beyond. No. Right? <laughs> no. So all this wood, all this material, this was all provided by Montana Reclaimed. They're uh, out of the Gallatin Valley down in Bozeman. and. These guys have everything that you need. Putting the package together with them to integrate it into the whole house with the flooring, to the walls, to the ceilings, to the truss packages. These guys provided yeah. every piece of material in here. They Top were class. super yeah. organized. They were meticulous with their shipping. Everything was laid out. Everything was accounted for. It was amazing to have these guys as a trade partner on this job. All right, so on the way to the primary is the owner's office, and uh, this was very important to him. He still has a ton of stuff going on business-wise, and he wanted a place that he was comfortable with a really nice view, looking out at the lake and the mountains, and he wanted to maintain the same vibe through the coffered ceilings, again, provided by Montana Reclaimed, and Matt Padram Cabinetry, Natural Stone. These guys just one after another, one detail after another, they just keep bringing it and bringing it. So the owner wanted the primary to be, you know, fully rustic. What a view. Yeah, so the owner wanted this to be very rustic and have the feel of just being in a cabin. And he captured that. He did, yeah. So we have fully cathedral ceilings with a main carrying beam with the rafters coming down. We have the same um, oak walls with the chinking in it. And I don't know whether you've picked up on it. It's very masculine looking. I'm wondering um, if think... it's a man that lives there on his own. It, it doesn't look like there's any female involvement at all. Yeah, I see what you mean. But at the same time, I think when you've got a log cabin sort of like effect, I think that is a, a more of a masculine kind of look anyway. It is, but you would have a few female well, things like you'd have like that big sort of like distraught leather sofa. And then you would have maybe furry couch furry pillows. I was just going to say, what is there not enough pillows on the on the bed for a woman? No, yeah. but you'd have to have something a bit I know, feminine. I know what you mean. Very masculine but I think looking. If, you, if you're going to keep it almost like very rustic and very what's it, I think you've got to keep it simple. And that's clean. It's very clean, very simple. And obviously, I don't think they might not have moved in yet, sort of thing. Yeah. So that might be missing a few sort of like final touches because there was two chairs in the kitchen area behind the sort of like in between the kitchen and the outdoor. Right. And the two really nice chairs. I thought we were going to see sort of like pan round so we can get a better look at them. Um, but they had no table there or anything. It was just two right, chairs together. Yeah. Um, like, and the chairs look really well, good as well. Yeah, well, it looks like there's a remote control on the side. So they've obviously well, got like a TV, a TV or something. It's a TV and I'm not sure what that is on the side of the bed. Is that a dream like a catcher? Looks like a fan. You wouldn't have like something cheap like that, though, would you? You'd have a nice, a, a nice big one on the ceiling. <laughs> What's a dream catcher? Catches your dreams. Mr. Sandman. And this is the sunset side of the home. Oh. So he okay. wanted to be able to view the sunset as he was going to bed with our late Montana sunsets. 
and uh, has a nice view of the lake. I would say so. Yeah, not a bad, not a bad not, view not a bad of Whitefish view. Lake. It is. So on into the primary bath. Then shows the view. Yeah, and on the way to the primary bath, yeah. we have the owner's closets, his and hers, both built-in closets That's on the way. That's always good. It's always good. And yep. wow, check out this bathroom. Yeah, so. What a shower. This was a, a another room that was put together with the same subcontractors, pageant cabinetry, natural stone with the Alamo stone and the fixtures from iron glass out of Bozeman. Those guys were integral in this project, putting all these fixtures together. It was, you know, yeah, one of it. those things from concept no to completion, that, yeah. they did a fantastic yeah. job. So back into the great room, this fireplace is amazing. The stone, Thanks the mantle. Chairs. Them two chairs on the right I'm talking about. Yeah, I know what See, you mean. Great chairs, them. I like, really like them. Yeah. Nice to get a little cut, half, half, bar, half moon bar there. Yeah. Just Glacier Stone provided us with this entire stone package with Lindbergh Masonry doing the install. So Glacier Stone has an assortment of different stones Fireplace. to select from. Yeah. In this particular project, we went with a Loon Lake 50% and a Canyon Creek 50%. Is Loon Lake, and is that a type of stone? It is, it's, it's a type of stone that they carry. It's one of their names of the stone that okay. they carry. And it's the, the lighter greens and the lighter blues. And then the Canyon Creek is a little bit darker with some blacks and grays and some browns in it. So okay. we mixed those two together to come up with this look. And the owner wanted a little bit more old fashioned heavier grout lines, uh, mortar lines on it. Okay. And he didn't want it as a super tight stack stone. So those guys provided that stone and the uh, Glacier Stone did and the Lindbergh Masonry did the install on that. Awesome. And now of course this mantle, I don't think I've ever seen a piece of wood quite that wide. So once again, this is Montana Reclaimed Lumber. They, um, wow. I drove down to the yard to select this with the owner and this is what he came up with, and it was off an old trellis bridge, and uh, we cut it into place, and it just was a perfect fit for this uh, fireplace. I'd say so. I wouldn't mind being a Look guest in this bedroom. Yeah. Wow. Going back to the fireplace, mm -hmm. would that would not burn then? No, no, it'd be treated. You're not going to burn because it's got sto stones above it. You've got the just stone the heat of it, would the it not chimney. Char that, it. You have a chimney. I've not got a chimney. I've not got the chimney. No, you won't get any. Won't get any action from any fire. Mm. Yeah, plus it'd be treated as well with and it was off an old trellis bridge looks beautiful and, uh, we cut it into place and it just was a perfect fit for this uh fireplace i'd say so i wouldn't mind look being a guest in this just look at that gorgeous right? fire pit out the back with the chairs the other rundack chairs where i lived in canada the uh, family had a, a, a lake house mm. and it was like that it looked right out into the yeah. lake it was stunning that's stunning. not too dissimilar to what we were at scotland at the weekend yeah, though really know, yeah. yeah very similar sort of like View, view sort of yeah. like with the hills. I much I know prefer Lake elevations. and Hills than beach. Oh, 100%. I'd mm. say Lake and Hills all day over beach. This bedroom. Yeah. This My is, goodness. Uh, you're staring right at Whitefish Lake, right at the Mission Mountains, right at the peaks, peaks of Glacier Park. Look at that. Ah. The window and door package was provided to us by Pella, Reserve Traditional, and these guys were great to work with, and the aluminum clad with the wood interior allowed us to match the finishes inside. So this, this product worked great for us, and Pella was great to have on our team. Did Pella do the entire window package here? They did the entire window and package. door package, other than the front door. Wow. Yeah, yeah, they, well, they did, did an amazing job. job. What an amazing view from the outside. Outside fire as this well. This home spectacular. Yeah. It is, yeah, this view leaves nothing left to be desired. Well, I'll tell you what, Connor, this has been a real treat for me. I really appreciate you taking me out here and showing me this home. As a realtor, it's always a pleasure to see such beauty in a build. Yeah, and I appreciate you coming out here and recognizing all the people that put this job together. You know, us as builders, we're nobody without our contractors. And uh, we had a great team here that put this together and helped us close, close the deal on this one. It was a great build. Thank you. Yeah, how much? That's, uh, uh, I don't think they're going to tell you how much on there. I think that's the end of the video, isn't it, really? Yeah. A lot of advertising in there for different, just probably goes through all the fittings, all the deals again, all the details. They're going to go through all Appreciate it. Yeah. yeah, thanks. Look at that. I know, it's stunning. That's a 10 out of 10, though. Yeah.
want to thank Connor with yeah that's it but tell me that I've never seen I don't that's probably the nicest thing yeah. I've ever seen yeah it's right up our street yeah mm, that's that's oh, it's, it's, it's definitely a 10 out of 10 what a build I know. and the stuff they're using in there the, you know the equipment they've used in there absolutely stunning yeah. the way it looks the design everything about that it's just you're not going to beat that. No, you're not. It takes, takes some beating, that does, for, in my opinion, anyway. Yeah, we need to Absolutely. move up to Scotland and build our own. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit different from there, Montana. You get cold weather in Montana. You get cold weather in Scotland. Yeah, it's freezing Probably not just too there. different. I know, yeah. right? It's freezing now. <laughs> yeah, anyway, it was a really good watch, that. Really yeah, enjoyed yeah, that. Was. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let us know in the comments what you think of it as well. Let me know if it is a 10 out of 10. And how uh, much it is, if you know. Yeah, exactly. It's been in the millions, that's going to yeah, be. Yeah. yeah, in the multi millions, I would say. 16 million. Uh, probably it depends how much land you get as well with mm. it. It looks uh, look pretty vast, didn't it? The surroundings. Mm. Yeah. Well, don't forget to like and subscribe anyway, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Cheers.